As you'll see in the remainder of this section, creating a scene can be quite involved. The Scene Manager, on the other hand, provides a quick and simple way of adding a predefined scene to your model. However, keep in mind that these are predefined scenes, which contain predefined rooms with already set backgrounds, rooms, environments, and lighting schemes. Let's begin by launching the Scene Editor. To launch the Scene Editor, I can use the PhotoWorks toolbar or the PhotoWorks drop down menu. This is the Scene Editor. You might notice how this editor is a bit different than the Appearance and Decal editors. Unlike the other two, the Scene Editor is in a separate window instead of appearing within the Property Manager. As you can see, a scene is defined by specifying several tabs, the Room, Background or Foreground, Environment, and Lighting. For this lesson, we'll be going over this first tab, the Scene Manager tab. The Manager tab allows us to select from any predefined or existing scenes found in the scene library. Under the Scene tree, we can search through scene folders, while the thumbnail images are displayed in the scene selection. A basic scene is characterized by a simple background and lighting. A studio scene includes a background that becomes part of the environment. And a presentation scene combines elements of both basic and studio scenes. Continuing under the Legacy folder, we find Backgrounds, Bases, Environments, Showrooms, and Studios. Each one offers a different look. I recommend you check some of these out and grow familiar with these available scenes. And keep in mind that you can edit the scene tree by using the toolbar available. If you want to save the scene you're working on in the scene library, you can use the Save icon to save your scene as a .p2s file. That way your custom scene will always be available. I'll go ahead and exit the editor and focus our attention to the Render Manager. The Scene folder behaves the same way as the Appearances folder. You can right-click on an applied scene and select Edit Scenery to replace a scene. Or you can delete a scene by right-clicking and selecting Detach, or highlighting the scene and pressing Delete on your keyboard. Now let me show you another quick and easy way of adding a predefined scene. In the PhotoWorks toolbar, we have this icon here, PhotoWorks Studio. This icon can also be accessed under the drop-down menu. I'll just go ahead and click on it. The PhotoWorks Studio appears in the Property Manager. You can select a scene from the list, or use the arrows to scroll through each one. We can also adjust the scene settings or the render quality, and click the green check when we're done.